So I asked them, what's the future? What lies ahead? And Anna said, oh, I'd like to become a national sales manager soon. So Anna, being an account manager for strategic accounts, is looking forward to the top uh, level post, which is already going to be an executive uh, position. So here we're looking at millennials beginning to occupy executive roles. And she also said, actually, that's not, not, not written there, a cross-country uh, position while me being an expat somewhere. While Raymond said, I'd like to head new pilot projects. So here, Raymond is not stopping. He's looking for bigger challenges, bigger roles, bigger uh, area to cover in terms of uh, sales story to territory that he's handling. Okay, And... Uh, Raymond is not the type of person who would, uh, you know, just be happy with his achievements and thereby uh, moving forward to larger scales. And Rick, on the other hand, while doing his uh, product scheduling work, is still looking for, still looking for uh, the best department that he would grow in. Much as uh, I actually congratulate him because uh, he already uh, surpassed the 2.6 average year of a millennial. Okay, because he's already gone past three years. Okay, but still, there's that soul searching for for our respondent Enrique. Uh, for Precious, uh, she actually mentioned, "I want to study, take my masteral that will allow me to uh, go back to work and be able to uh, uh, progress my my profession." So here we see an individual who takes professional development uh, seriously. And uh, she actually knows the uh, pathway towards moving up the ladder towards her work. Joey, on the other hand, being new in the corporate world is still uh, finding out what she really wants. But then again, we are confident when she does, she'll be able to uh, make that, that roadmap to be able to achieve the goal that she'll be able to set. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, uh, five young people. Uh, getting their insights, the conglomerate of conscience, and if I have to be uh, uh, happy about it, these people are actually my nephews and nieces, my son and my daughter. Now, I will not move the slide, but then again, moving forward to what I do today in organizational development, I see the millennials of today, especially in the family businesses, are very educated, very eager to show what they can do. Unfortunately, their leaders are still stuck on the old conventional way of managing things and they're still afraid to give the baton the second or third generation. It's always been my advice to, uh, to the young ones. Uh, number one, keep the respect to your seniors. Your time will come. But wh while waiting for that time, they have to show that level of competence so that the confidence of the seniors will grow and go higher towards that right time of getting the right uh, authority and role that the millennials or the next generation are wanting to get into, okay? So sometimes, masyado silang ano, ganado, masyado, nagmamadali. So we are actually uh, training them to uh, be good at the future post that they're going to uh, occupy and uh, experience all the challenges that they, that they can while they are in the middle management, you know, for most uh, who are into the family businesses, uh, this is the common uh, scenario that uh, we are seeing on a daily basis. And uh, it's not rare to the Philippines, it's actually happening globally. So somehow our uh, advice to uh, the seniors as well, give them a chance, understand them, give them that wisdom and uh, Make that uh, kite principle. Kite principle. Uh, we learned this from my partner. Uh, that the millennials, they'll be moving on. They'll be flying like kites. But, uh, you know, kites fly and uh, that string you get to let go while they go up and higher. So, these millennials will need the same uh, guidance and the same uh, motivation from the seniors ahead. So, how does the workplace look like? 
within the next couple of years well for most of us will be nearing retirement probably uh, we'll still do some uh, mentoring towards them but you will be seeing more young people getting into that position of authority and uh, position where they will be heading companies position where the, they will be leading a lot of people and uh, somehow what's uh, important is a good transition a good succession planning uh, for most uh, uh, who are into people development uh, we are now actually into the succession planning of roles so that the company will be able to move on during the change and transition of hands so there you go ladies and gentlemen we we have presented to you some tips on how to effectively manage the larger part of the workforce now called millennials. So I hope you were able to uh, get good insights from this and that uh, we will see you on the next subject.